Hi, this is the mate in the corner trap in the Italian Gioco Piano, the quiet game, but nothing quiet about this one. Yet, it is almost embarrassing to call it a trap since Black really compromises his position beyond the bounds of legitimate trap setting and basically plays bad chess. So this is more a demonstration of moves from a miniature game wrapped up in a cute mating theme. So we have here the Italian after knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5, white can castle, and black d6. So in order to prevent the annoying pin bishop g4, white can try h3. So this is a common position in the Italian. And here black goes for the intimidating h5, a rare move. Sometimes these type of early flank pawn assaults can make the opponent a tad uneasy and prompt him to err. And err, white does with the repositioning of the king's knight to h2. Black should be consistent with the gist of his last move and continue with g5 with advantage since the text move played knight f6 just goes to restore a balanced position so white plays d3 and here bishop g4 this is an audacious move and it's actually a blunder yet it unsettles white into defeat so after white accepts that bishop h takes on g4 pawn takes on g4 and knight takes on g4 black could try here knight h5 well this is actually a bad move and the houdini chess engine has black at 4.46 pawns down and white can actually be winning here with a move knight h6 just blocking up that h file but, in fairness, it's a move that's easy to overlook. After the text move bishop e3, black is close to winning since queen h4 is threatening a beautiful mate. White here is losing in all variations and after bishop takes c5, black can finish off the game. Can you see how black inflicts mate? Well, the move queen h1, a beautiful mating theme, since after king takes h1, knight g3, double check and mate. So this has been the mate in the corner trap of the Italian. Hope you found it useful. Bye bye.